I'm just gonna... There we go. Right, good evening. Welcome to Cole's Place, if you're watching on Catch Up. My name's Colin. Great to have you along. It's Tuesday night live. The first one back since Tenerife. I'm just put my camera there. I'm just going to... Log in so I can see your comments. First person on, if you can give me a sound and pitch check, that would be wonderful. Oh, God, look, all going wrong within the first minute. Massive welcome to the channel. My name's Colin. Great to have you along. Massive welcome. If you're new to the channel, it's Tuesday Live. Go live every Tuesday, round about this time between 7 and 8. Uh, so you're more than welcome to join in the live chat. Let me know who you are and where you're from, especially if you're a new subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and get in the chat, it's free. Uh, and also hit the thumbs up as well. Uh, who's in first? Oh, Anne Elton, good evening. Anne and Lynn, I call all clear. Thank you very much. I'm just, bear with me, guys. I'm just going to log in on my other phone so I can see people's comments because it's like miles away from me up there. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, right, landed. How are we all? I'm just going to move this camera back so it doesn't wobble when I move the table. There we go, that's better. How is everybody? Good evening, welcome. Tuesday night, UK time. It has just gone 7.30. A minute or two late, like most of you, I was watching Rick and Shelley or the last bit of it, and I just wanted to make sure they'd finished so uh, I wasn't sort of overlapping. Doesn't their finger look great? Oh, my word. I'm so pleased for the pair of them. Uh, just means they can get more dogs and cats and stuff now, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, well done, Rick and Shelley. Great to see you both uh, over the past week or so as well. And uh, see you again soon. And good luck with your new home. So, uh, fantastic. If you don't know what about Rick and Shelley, subscribe to them. Go and have a look. They've moved into a new, new house up in the hills in Tenerife. And it looks absolutely wonderful. Right, so, yeah, good evening, everyone. Hope we're well. Uh, back in the UK. Uh, I'm still in holiday depression mode. <laughs> Landed back Thursday, uh, there's a load of people over there, we'll go into that in a bit, but I'm sure some of you who are over there are like me, you know, you're back, you know, back in Britain, but hey, the summer's on the way, and we can all go again sometime, so it's no problem. Let's see who's in. <clears throat> 17 in straight off, look at that, thanks for joining in, guys. I know there's footy on as well, so I won't keep everybody here all night tonight, there's England and all sorts of things going on on TV. So, uh, Lynn, good evening, Lynn. Lynn, I've been given some, in the words of the person who gave them to me, real tatoes, all right? I'll be doing a taste test. Not tonight, though. Uh, Damien Hooper, evening, Damien. Everyone says, on. Stuart Donnell is in. Good evening, Stuart. Good evening, Martin. Hope you enjoyed your trip uh, over there. Uh, David Buller, high call, sound and picture good, except for the shirt. Do you want to see tonight's shirt? This one, especially for Damien Hooper, I've gone purple. Check it out. And if I lower the screen down a bit, it's got a little bit of blue on it as well. Look at that. Amazing. Hey, unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, look. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, David. Evening, Briny. Briny, I'll message you. I was messaging you before. I got way late. But hope you're well, Briny. Uh, how is everyone? Have we recovered yet? Me? No, in simple terms, Damien. Let me get my camera right. Recovered? Uh, well, no, not yet. No, I want to go back, be honest with you. But I hope everyone has recovered. I uh, hope everyone had a great time. All the people who were over in Tenerife last week and all the people who were still there uh, and all the people who are going, you know, hope had a smashing time. It went... Saf and myself, we were there 10 nights and it felt like 10 minutes. It flew by. Uh, but, yeah, we had a fantastic time. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Thank you, man, Rick and Shelley, absolutely. Maria Rares, good evening. Hello, Maria, how are you? Uh, David and Anne, still bad with your colds. Is that something? You must have picked up something over there then, because I've seen quite a few people coming back with stuff. Uh, but, no, me, touch wood. Me and Saf have been fine since we got back. Uh, London Street, evening, Tony. How are you doing? Hope you're all, well, mate. Good stuff, good stuff. Craig Kidd, good evening, Craig. Evening, people. Enjoyed watching Tenerife videos. Got me buzzing for June. Oh, nice one. Thank you, Craig. Um, I've still got about seven or eight more to put up. I've got a couple of food reviews uh, to go up. One or, oh, There's a couple of food reviews. Wait till you see one of them. 
is honestly, I was looking at the footage earlier on and I can't wait to get it, put it together. Uh, I've got a cracking food review going up. Uh, I've got a couple of um, trips out that Saf and myself did during the day there to go up. I didn't film every single day, but you know, a couple of the things we went and saw that were of particular interest I filmed. I've got Masca, uh, <coughs> I've got one where we went out into the sticks. Uh, I've got a couple of nighttime ones to go up as well. A couple of, so a little bit of everything. So I've got about another six or seven to go up, I think, which I will be doing uh, one tomorrow. When are we? I don't know what day of the week it is. One tomorrow, Wednesday. I'll put one up tomorrow. Hopefully get one up Thursday, Friday. Uh, I'm very, very... No, I won't get up one up Friday. One up tomorrow, one Thursday. Uh, and then one over the weekend and some into next week. So uh, look out for them, mate. Uh, 36 in. Everyone's flying in. All the comments are flying. Hang on. If I miss anyone's comments... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, JBM's in evening. Jay, how are you doing? Uh, I saw a bit of your video before, Jay. You said you'd double booked or something. You'd booked a double booked a trip. Uh, Neil Davidson, hi, Cole. Have booked next year. Nice one, Neil. 13th of March for me. I'll see what I can do, Neil. Try and get me fourth, uh, me fourth St. Patrick's Day on the chop. <laughs> Uh, you'll have a uh, Neil. You'll have a great time. It is absolutely superb if you're there for St Patrick's. Uh, honestly, the uh, atmosphere is great. JBM travels. Got to go Tesco's. Morrison's doesn't have the final items I need for my caravan. You going to the caravan, mate? Nice one. Uh, all good. Yeah, all good. Thank you, Bryony. Absolutely fine. Just mad, 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 mad busy. You know, since I got back, uh, feet haven't touched the floor, and I've got. A mental, mad, busy weekend coming up ahead of me. I'm, I'm like that. Ooh. Trisha's in. Evening, Trisha. Hope you got back okay. Hope you well. Didn't see didn't see as much of you as we wanted, Trisha. But um, do you know what? Didn't see a load of people over there, to be fair. Uh, Julie, hey, hi, Julie. How are you doing? Shropshire Steve's in. Good evening, Steve. Hope you well, Julie. All things Tenerife. Keith, hello all. I'm suffering with drawer symptoms. I need to go back. Glad to see you back in the bright shirt. Yeah. I put it on for Damien Hooper, this one, Keith. You know what I mean? Hope you're well, Keith. Okay, as well. Hope you've uh, recovered sufficiently. What you need to do now is book another trip. Everybody was there last week doing Neil Davidson. Get get on get on uh, your, your holiday websites and book another trip. Damien, you rest real taters. What the hell is that you're wearing? You need to get your personal shopper. Saf, get your dad new shirts for the fifth year cheek. We have postman pad. <laughs> One, I'm nowhere near 50, as you well know. And two, I don't need a personal shopper. Saf is in. She's in bed. She had a massively hard day at school today. She's doing a bit of catch-up and stuff. So uh, she came home, we did her something to eat, and she, she's basically just crashed out. So tonight I'm, going, I'm just going to probably leave her, although she'll probably get up in a bit and want me to take her out. Crazy. Sue B, I always get lost in the spanners when I say hi. Sorry, Sue. I'll strip them of all the spanners. I'll be able to see you then. They don't deserve them anyway. <laughs> I'm only joking. Hi, Sue. Sue, sorry I missed you in uh, your rugby last week. I did see you pop up on um, Tim's Live in Los Cristianos. You were sort of walking along with the beach on your left and Tim was in front of you. Um, I did see you and I sort of hung around a couple of evenings down that area. I did my final live. I think was it my final live. Yeah, it was my last live I did down. I started down by Costamar down there, but I obviously missed you. So, sorry about Sue. I'd, I'd love to meet you both, but always another time. London Streets, Tony. When's your next trip? <laughs> Watch this space. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Keith, Keith, Damien. Uh, everyone's saying hello to everyone. She's not. Nice, Alan's homemade vlogs. Just a quickie saying, sorry, can't join in, just in. I need to do something. Hey, no problem, Alan. You're as busy as me. Well, you're probably busier than me, Alan. I just whinge about it. But uh, hey, good to see you, mate. Hope you're well. Thanks for popping in anyway. Do appreciate it. 34 in. Can't be bad. James Bolton. Evening, Colin. Have you had a good time in Tenerife? My nan Norma said, where's the best place to see Elvis in Las Americas? Oh, good question, mate. Um, you'll probably get a few coming in the chat, sort of giving you various options. Um, if you're in Las Americas, uh, there is a bar called uh, El Romantica. Um, if you go on the Tenerife ABC app, if you get download an app called Tenerife ABC or ABC Tenerife, one or the other, 
Um, there is a guy called Leslie Moore. Uh, it's Leslie Elvis Moore. I think he's one of the longest sort of serving Elvis impersonators in Tenerife. And in Play de las Americas, right in the, they've got a bar called PJ's, sort of opposite that and up the street a little bit. There's a, there's a restaurant called Romantica. Leslie Moore plays in there, uh, I think, a couple of nights a week. There's posters outside, you can't miss it. And he also plays up in what used to be called the Anchor Bar. It's now called Waikiki, which is literally just up the street. He plays in both of them. So he's a he's a your traditional Elvis impersonator. Uh, there's also one called Comedy Elvis, which is like a, an Elvis impersonator, but he does comedy and like a bit of a weird Elvis. But if you if if your nan is just after a straight Elvis act, Leslie Moore. But go on that ABC app, mate, and you'll you'll find them. There's loads in Las Americas. You can't go wrong. But uh, yeah, Leslie Moore's your man. He's he's the one who's been there the longest. There's a, people in the chat. There's a couple more as well. Um, but I can't off the top of my head. I can't think of the names. But Las Americas, uh, about four or five nights a week, you'll catch an Elvis impersonator, mate. But I, I'd go to Romantica because it's a nice little bar as well. You can have nice food in there. It seems very popular all the time. So uh, go for that one, mate. But yeah, welcome to the chat, James. Stuart Donnelly, did you know that Michael has made it to the mainstream press in regard to his drone vlog? Really pleased for him. Uh, is that Edinburgh, Michael? I didn't know that, Stuart. I was chatting to him last night. Um, he didn't mention it. I'll, I'll have a look into it. Uh, JBM, I'm currently in the rain in Bognor Regis. Oh, you're not far away from me, uh, Jay. Not far away at all. Is it raining? It's not raining in Bournemouth. It was earlier this afternoon, uh, but it's not, not now. It's cleared up now. Damien Hooper, that six days was mental. Eric singing my way, all I need is <laughs> four songs in his repertoire. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, Eric sings my way, Creep by Radiohead, New York, New York, and Wonderwall. I think that's his four songs, mate, so, you know. Jamie Priest, evening, Jamie. How you doing, mate? Hope you're well. Uh, under five weeks for Tenerife. Not long now, mate. Not long now. Uh, JBM, I went down the doggy alleyway in Bournemouth. Doggy alleyway? Which one's that? We haven't got a doggy alleyway. I mean dodgy, they're all they're all dodgy, but we haven't got a oh alley man, that alley is dodgy. Which one? We've got loads of dodgy alleyways in Bournemouth, mate. Uh Damien, did you get a new phone? Good shout, Trisha. I was gonna ask that. That was on my list to ask, Damien, if you got because he he's been we've been chatting on Facebook, mate, but I forgot to ask you if you sorted your phone. Uh, hope you're okay. Did Saf's A campaign start again? Need to move to Tenerife for medical purposes. Yes. While we were over there, I've got to be honest with you, within a day or two, she was walking and moving a lot, lot better. Um, she was starting to wake at the end of the night. All Keith will tell you because Keith did a bit of physio on her, and, uh, which actually did a bit of good. Uh, and we walked. For those of you who know the area, we were staying opposite Columbus Hotel. There was one afternoon where Saf and I walked from Columbus down to the beach to where Metropole Cafe is, along the beach towards Los Cristianos. And we stopped on, is it Camison Beach, the nice beach, just before you get to Vista Sur. We stayed on there for basically a bit of a sunbathe. And then we walked back and she was absolutely fine. Now, for over a year, 18 months, I've not seen her walk that far and not be in a lot of pain. I mean, she had a few aches and pains but nothing like she'd normally have here and then uh, we got back Thursday come Saturday Sunday over the weekend her hands were playing her up her legs are playing her up she's been to school her hips are playing her up so the, the different climate did do her the massive difference did do her the world of good um, she was meant to have physio today but unfortunately couldn't make it um, she got physio a week on Friday so uh, it's something obviously we'll bring up um, but yeah now she, she was Massive improvement while she was there. Massive improvements. Keith, uh, all things Tenerife. August is my next trip, or I might fit one in the May or June bank holiday. Definitely do a next Paddy's Day. It was a blast. Say hi to Saf and Eric. Nice one, Keith. Yeah, got to be doing Paddy's Day. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can't beat it for atmosphere. We were right in the thick of it, weren't we, at some point? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've only seen Eric briefly since I got back. He popped in. He's popped into a couple of my gigs. I popped round to his gig on Sunday, uh, his late one after mine. But I've not, I've, I've only seen literally a few minutes at a time. We've been both been really busy, but uh, it'll be floating round somewhere. 
Patrick Morin, evening Patrick. I call in South Carolina State, just quickly, young lad in hospital, so I'm here, we'll catch up on stuff soon. So, oh, I hope he's okay, Patrick, hope it's nothing too bad, mate. Uh, young lad in hospital, catch up on... Okay, mate, listen, spend your time with your lad, mate, and uh, hope, all, hope, hope, hope everything's okay, mate. And, uh, yeah, keep in touch, Patrick, okay? Sorry to hear that. Damien, Trisha, it's a load of cracks. Eric is a good Elvis. Eric's, don't encourage him, Damien. Eric's a rubbish singer. He can't sing a note. Subi, it was Tim and Damien. Then we missed you on the last night as we were having a curry. Yes, that's right, Sue. I got your message when I was me live on the last night. I do apologise, everyone. I'd sort of calculated it to end in my tattoo studio in Vista Sur shopping centre. Um, but I met a few people along the way. I bumped into Damien, obviously, and uh, David, Trisha. Uh, then I can't remember there was somebody else after that uh, and then somebody asked me says look at Goodfellas so I went back and uh, I literally got to buy McDonald's where Chucky's is that little row of restaurants and my battery run out another two minutes I'd have got in there and plugged in and carried the live on because I, I wanted to see Jamie and uh, Nito in the tattoo shop just to finish a live off there just to show everybody the tattoo shop live by the time we got there they were more or less closed in anyway so it didn't matter too much but yeah, Sue, I got, I got your message. I, you said I, I walked past you. I went past you. So again, there'll be another time, Sue. If not, come down Bournemouth. <laughs> Edinburgh on evening, Michael. Uh, anybody who's watching last night, it's still up. Uh, Mike did a, a, what you call it, a Monday night chat with myself. Thank you, Michael, for that. Good fun for an hour. We had a bit of a natter afterwards. Uh, it's still up on the uh, on Mike's channel, if you want to go and have a look at that. Uh, there's an hour... Uh, me and him chewing the cud last night, talking all things uh, about Tenerife and what we get up to and what we don't get up to. So that was really good, Michael. Thank you for that. Um, was it Stuart Donnelly just mentioned you've you've hit the local press, mate? Let us know all about it. Hit the thumbs. Thank you. Denise is in. Denise Pearson, hello. Hello, Denise. Hope you're all well. Up in uh, Puerto de la Cruz. Absolutely beautiful up there. Uh, I've got... I've got a vlog that'll be coming out over the weekend. Saf and I went up. Sadly, we missed uh, Steve and, and Denise and uh, the family. Our timing was terrible. Got stuck in traffic coming out of Masca. Um, got stuck in. We got stuck in traffic going into Masca, and we got stuck coming out of Masca. Uh, and to be fair, between there and Puerto de la Cruz wasn't too bad. But anyway. We stopped. We were only going to stay for an hour or two. We were going to do like a, a, a meal and then have a little wander around. But we ended up staying till about, I think it's about 9, 10 o'clock. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. What a lovely, lovely town. If you're in Tenerife and you never venture up north, go and have a look, have a look at Steve's uh, North Tenerife Man's videos so you know your way about a bit. And uh, go, go and have a look at Puerto de la Cruz. Me and Saf will be going back. We absolutely, the shops are fantastic and oh, it's beautiful up there. Uh, but, 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 uh, everyone's saying hello to Patrick. I yeah, hope your son's all right, Patrick. Uh, keep in touch. Let us know, mate. Damien's looking at August. There was a lot of people going in August. Uh, did you hear about the bridge that collapsed with cars going over it today? Was that one in Baltimore, JBM? I was watching it on Sky News before. That was awful, wasn't it? it the ship hit it, didn't it? The big container ship. Uh, everyone's got the cold... Edinburgh Live featured me regarding the drone footage I did of the ski slope. Oh, nice one, mate. Sticks out in your community, mate. Have a look or a link. Uh, view from us, evening. Scott, how you doing, mate? Hey, up. View from us, new channel from the Pearson Stable. <laughs> uh, Scott doing uh, his thing. Nice one, mate. Call your hammering the YouTube at the minute. Well, I'll tell you what it is, Scott. I, I'll be honest with you. I actually probably did more videos than I realised. I thought I was coming back with about four or five. I actually came back with about ten. So uh, I haven't got the time to edit them all in one go. Um, I'm literally snatching minutes in the day. And uh, so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just knocking them out one a day or one every couple of days just to uh, free the memory on my phone, mate. And then I can, uh, I've got some recording to do this weekend and and uh, next week because it's Easter week. Now. It, it's Easter down here in... Uh, Next couple of weeks, half's off, so we'll be going out doing some days out and stuff. So I want to get that on film as well. Damien, it's raining here because that shirt is making me cry. Yes, mate, my phone is cracked to bits. Oh, mate. 
So did you get your phone back, Damien? Is that what you're saying, or have you got a new one? That's what we all want to know. Uh, Damien Hooper, Johnny Vlogger knows it. No, he doesn't. Leave Johnny alone. <laughs> JB, I saw Eric on an I saw Eric on another channel next week. Oh, don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Eric, Eric gets his face everywhere. Jay, won't we'll worry about it. Webb is in. Webb is in. Three or shoes watching a footy. Great shirt, mate. Thank you, Webby. Check it out. Beautiful, Webby. Look, it's got a bit of sky blue on for you, Webby. There you go. Look at that bit of sky blue. Bit of the old Coventry for you, mate. Especially for you. Webby Sports Roundup. <laughs> JBM, alleyway off Shelbourne Road. That runs parallel to A338. Oh, I know where you mean, Jay. Yeah, the dodgy alleyway. That was just a one-off, mate. That's actually quite a nice part of town. Uh, yeah, I know where you mean. I used to live around the corner from that. My daughter used to go around to a school around there. Uh, but, but, but Pearson's Adventures, yeah, beautiful. Thank you, North. Evening, Steve. How you doing, mate? Just uh, waxing lyrical about your uh, hometown. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Lynn Rowlands is in. Evening, Colin. Hope you. Yeah, we're both fine. Thank you, Lynn. Saf's asleep at the minute. Flat out. You're in Tenerife, Lynn. Tell us what the temperatures like. Go on. Tell us what you're eating in Chuckies. Uh, thanks for the family YouTuber mentions. Not a problem, Denise. I'm just so sorry I missed you guys, but uh, there'll be next time. <coughs> Excuse me. Jamie Priest, the sun does the world good for cerebral palsy. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, the sun, you know, just the good weather and the, and, the, and the warm temperature. We live in, I think we live in an increasingly damp country. I don't think Britain's getting any colder, but we are getting a lot wetter, you know, I don't know what it's like where you lot live, but Bournemouth this year, I've hardly had any frost. It's just been rain, 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 rain. And I think the damp and and the, the dark conditions did not do a lot of people's health any favours. You know, whether it's a joint condition, arthritis or whatever, or whether it's just a general mental health issue or cerebral palsy, anything. Uh, I think I think it's got a lot to a lot a lot to contribute the weather. Hope you well anyway, Jamie. Yeah, five weeks to go, mate. Good on you. Uh, Michael N, I'm off to Tenerife tomorrow. Thanks for your videos. Very, hey, no problem, Michael. Appreciate that. Uh, have a look at all the other vloggers as well, Michael. There's, uh, oh, talk of the devil, Eric's in. Hey, talk about how many turns up. Uh, yeah, Mike, there's, there's a load of other vlogs on, on YouTube as well. If you don't know him, this is a Scotsman in Tenerife. He's your man. He, what, what part of South Tenerife he hasn't covered isn't worth knowing about. Uh, Alan's homemade vlogs is up there. He does a lot of hotels and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think who's in the chat there. Edinburgh and Beyond's done some, um, what do you call it? Some Tenerife stuff. Uh, Matt Master, Night Strider. They're all up there. You, you, you Watch a few of them. You'll know your way about before you go, mate. Uh, hotels, restaurants, everything. But yeah, appreciate your comment, mate. Thanks for today. joining in. Hope you have a great time. Let us know where about you're going. But you'll have a you'll have a blast. You've missed the rain. The weather's gonna be uh, weather's gonna be banging, mate. You'll you'll have a great time. Eric, how are you? Okay, bloke. Hi to all. Damien was just uh, running down your singing, Eric. He said you sounded awful in the Jersey cow. He said he's never heard anyone do such a bad Frank Sinatra. Uh, <laughs> Neil Davidson, you booked for next March. Sounds like everyone's booking for next March. Everyone say hello to Eric, uh, North Tenerife, uh, 23rd. Cole, you want about Elvis and play? There's a young guy who does a busking young Elvis. He's very good. I'm not sure who that one is, Denise. The, the only one I know by name is Leslie Moore, uh, who pulls up in his little um, wheelchair buggy thing. He goes from gig to gig in his buggy. Uh, he's been there years. He does a lot of work for the Animal Rescue Centre. Uh, crack, he's a good Elvis, to be fair. And there's also the guy who does uh, Elvis on the Golden Mile. I think he does Elvis one or two nights a week, right by where the Crazy Golf is. But he does. he's a resident in that restaurant by the Crazy Golf. I don't know his name. Uh, but he also does, like, Tom Jones and stuff like that. Uh, 
Uh, everyone's saying hello to everyone. Five nights, Neil Davidson, 13th to the 18th. Hey, you should have had a big night, David. Uh, uh, sorry, Neil, you should have had a big one. Uh, Jeremy Maggs, good evening, Cole. Six weeks to go. Jeremy and Gainer back in Triorkey. Six weeks, Jeremy. It'll come round. It'll come round. <laughs> what a great time to go. Six weeks, that'll be what? First week in May around there. Fantastic times to go. I love going over in May. Uh, Anthony Allinshead. Hi, Colin Saff. Loved your tenery videos. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate it. More to come. I've got about six or seven more, which will be coming on over the next week or so. So, uh, yeah, thank you for that, mate. Great to have you on the, on the chat as well. Thanks for popping in. Really do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for your comments. I've got a few thank yous in a minute. I'm just going to make some. I'm just catching up on the comments, and we'll do we'll do some proper stuff. Uh, Stuart Donnelly, uh, Edward Rion, really pleased, Michael. Absolutely, Michael. Great validation of work you've done with the channel. Yeah, nice one, Michael. Drop a link in if you can. Uh, get that Tato package off the screen. The real ones are allowed, Cole. You're going to start the Tatoes. Damien, this channel's about equality. That Tato pack has got as much right as your Tato pack to be on, on this channel. And that's how it will remain. Simple as that. <laughs> Eric, I'm popping over for four days in May, hopefully with Nicola to show her about. I spoke to last Airbnb, but private there, so stay in flights to us. Oh, that's not bad, 275 for me. May does go cheap. Uh, I have an old phone, that's cracked to bits. As long as you see my good looks, Damien, that's the main thing. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Thumbs up, absolutely. No diet, no ideas, chat us, nah. Uh, keeps... Does this does a picture keep freezing? I'm not having any internet issues. I'm watching on my phone and it's not freezing. I haven't frozen once. Uh, same issues, too much footage, not a lot of memory left. Oh, it's a nuisance, isn't it? I'm going to get a little memory stick for next time. Uh, all good, Damien. Eric, you have to pay my details, please. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone's saying hello. Anthony Steele's in. Good evening, Anthony. How are you doing? I'm just trying to catch up with the comments. Hope you're well, mate. Call next time you should come and get an overnight hotel and we can show you around even. Yeah, that's, that's it. If, if I do another 10-day trip, Denise, uh, definitely look at that. Absolutely, 100%. First video will be out Sunday. Nice one. Drop me a message, Scott, and uh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll share it for you as well, mate. Not a problem. Remind me. Uh, Tenerife is a tonic for arthritis sufferers. It, 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 honestly, Anne, you're so correct. You're so correct. Scotsman's a smashing guy, was smashing to meet him. Yeah, Kev was over there. Uh, I saw him a couple of times. Uh, once I had a beer with him on, I think it was the first or second night we were there, up in um, Chicago's, watching Shelley and uh, Hayley Butler. That was good fun. Uh, then I bumped into him later in the week where I did the Ask Me Anything with him. And he took, I've got to be honest with you, he took me by surprise when I did that Ask Me Anything. I, didn't, I did ask Kevin to do an Ask Me Anything about a year ago. And he was like, oh, maybe... And then uh, we met up for a beer. There was myself, Rick and Kevin in uh, Los Cristianos. Rick had to shoot away to pick Shelley up, I think. Or I think he's going to pick up something for the house or whatever. And uh, so it was just Kevin and I. And we walked along the prom and he goes, right, come on, we'll do and ask me anything. And I'd not prepared for it. So I was just batting questions off the top of my head. And fair play to him. He was, uh, he was a great sport. So, yeah, Kev, Kev's fantastic. Scotsman in Tenerife, superb. Uh, JB, I'm actually Colin said Eric was a crap singer. It behaved. I'd never say that about Eric. It was Damien. Uh, <laughs> this guy's a young guy in Las, uh, Las America. He's just a busker starting out, but he's very talented. I don't know that one, Denise. Got to be honest with you. Don't know. I'll have a look out for him, but no, I don't know him. Uh, you should hear Cold Do Who That is Alice. Uh, no one wants to hear me sing, Eric. Uh, Eugene McGee, good evening, Eugene. England nil, Belgium one. Nice. Webby Sports Roundup. Oh, look at that, Webby. You've been beaten to it. Eugene beat you with a score. Uh, you're meant to be a footy fan. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, there, yellow packet of defences. So nice call. Damien, we're not entering a Southern versus Northern Irish argument on this channel. All right, okay. Because it could be said, if I stick a southern one up there, the northern Irish will be offended by that. So we're not entering it. If you want to go southern versus northern, there are other channels you can do that. All right? Okay? So uh, we'll draw a line there. 
View from us, Scott. When are you off back to Tenerife then, Cole? A couple of people have asked that. Um, watch this space is my answer to that one. Penalty England. Nice one, Webby. Ali's in. Good evening, Ali. Eugene McGeever. Oh, he's beat you, he's beat you on that one, Eugene. Webby got the penalty in there. Ask me anything with Scotsman in Tenerife. Was so, oh, thank you, Sue. Yeah, it's good on that. I'd say it, was, it wasn't rehearsed enough, in it was battered off the top of my head. <laughs> Nigel, good evening, Nigel. If I've missed, listen, if I've missed anyone's comments, there's 47 in now. Uh, comments are flying in. I do apologise. I'm, I'm reading them off me over my old phone, look, as they cook, so I can't see that from here. Uh, Nigel, do I remember Frank's French restaurant in Chester? Yes, I do. Uh, Frank's restaurant. Was that in Northgate Street, Nigel, I think, wasn't it? Frank's? Or was it Bridge Street? It was right in the, it was in the town centre. Yeah, I do remember it. I never went in there. Um... Many a happy time there. Yeah, I remember it being very popular. Frank's, where was that? It was right it was in the town centre somewhere. It was great to meet yourself, Kevin Keith, Johnny Vlogger, and all the other YouTube. Yeah, it was fantastic, wasn't it? It was absolutely superb. It was, uh, I can't remember a time when there's been so many people together, to be fair. Um, you know, all, all on the island at once. It's just a pity we didn't all get together, as in everybody, but it was just beyond doable. Everybody, you know, I was out with Saf all day, uh, you know, everybody was doing their own thing rightly so and everybody was staying in different parts of the coast and you know and it, as well as that we had uh cheltenham and st patrick's all the bars for the first week were absolutely heaving during the day with the horse racing it was nuts but a good time nonetheless uh right what, what was i gonna do i had a couple of announcements oh yeah that was it figures 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 I'll update the board, do it live. Bear with me. This uh, guard, dashboard. Right, okay, so live. Before it went, it was 3979 subscribers. It's on 4297. Three more to 4,300. 700 more to 5,000. Unbelievable. Uh, views. Analytics. Lifetime. Views. Bear with people. 694,000 views. 616. So since I went to Tenerife, that's gone up by about, I think by about just over 60,000. It was on 630 something. So that is massive, massive, massive. Uh, and then watch hours. Watch hours are, for those who uh, aren't YouTube sort of uh, savvy, basically if you watch my video for one hour, so if you watch all of this live for one hour, that's a watch hour. So since the channel began two years ago, uh, YouTube can tell me how many hours it's been watched. And before it went away, it was at 53,000, I think, 52,000. Uh, it is now at, what, 59,867. So it's gone up by about six or 7,000 watch hours. So just want to say massive, massive thank you, everybody. Uh, my channel's not little anymore, is it? I've got to face up to it. I've always said my little channel, it ain't little anymore. It's growing up. Uh, and that's down to you guys. So uh, I know everyone says it. Lee says it. Scotsman will say it. Rick says it, Rick says it all the time. Massive, massive thank you for everyone's support. A huge welcome to everybody who's joined in in the last few weeks. Uh, unbelievable. That is... Half of that is way above what I expected when I started out. Right, so given the fact that it's come that far in such a short space of time, and uh, I just hope you enjoy it, and there's more to come. This year, I tell you now, I said it in a, in a post the other week, um, there are trips planned, there are trips booked. Uh, Tenerife is booked. You might have seen a post, we've got Siam Park annual passes. I've got to get my money's worth out of them. Uh, there is a Tenerife trip booked. Uh, there is... Uh, other trips to other places booked as well and there's some mad stuff coming along the way as well um, so me and Saf have got 
a bit more freedom this year once her exams are over. She's doing the GCSEs in May, June, uh, and then you know we're free. Then she's she's been offered a place. She's been offered a place in a sixth form in her own school, which she's not too keen on. Uh, but she's been offered a place in another sixth form, so she's guaranteed at least a place in one sixth form for her A levels, which I knew she would. Uh, we're going to hear about another place this week, hopefully. Uh, so once that's all out of the way, we'll have a lot more freedom then and uh, we can do a lot more with the channel and have a bit of fun with it as well. So, uh, yeah, I just say massive, massive thank you everybody to everybody who's been with me from the beginning, everybody who supported me along the way, uh, every, the, the, the spanners and everybody else. And uh, massive thank you to Saf because I drive her nuts talking about it. I go on to Eric about it all the time and uh, it, it's just fun. It's just, just absolutely fun and... Uh, Let's see where the uh, coming months take us. So, uh, yeah, so that's good. Pleased with that. 4-2. Oh, it's gone up one. 4-2-9-8. Not 4-2-9-7. <laughs> and a massive thank you as well to uh, the other YouTubers who have, one, pushed me into it, and two, helped me along the way. You know who you are. I'm not going to name you all, uh, but honestly, immense. Right, I'll go back in the chat and I can see what you're all... Calling. Who's in? Tim Dad. Did I see Tim there? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Eric's off. Nicholas turned up cooking a stir fry. Gigging tomorrow in Charming, so I'll pop by and won't catch you at the triangle. Yeah, nice one, Eric. See you tomorrow. Catch up. Raymundo and Patricia. Good evening, Raymundo. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Stuart Donnelly. Edward on a check flights to Bournemouth. They are mega cheap. Ryanair under £40 return. Nice one, Stuart. You know where I am, Mike? Nigel Franks was at Cupping Street. Cupping Street? Where was Cupping Street? I've heard... I know Cupping Street, Nigel. CH12BN. Cupping Street. Oh, my word. You're talking old, Chester. Right in the middle there. Lynn, brilliant call. You're flying. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Ali. Uh, great numbers of trends. Thank you, David. Absolutely. I'm at Tim. Am I live or on catch-up? You're live, Tim. The ketchup's finished. All the saucy stuff. <laughs> Hope you're well. Uh, and agreed, Keith, not forgetting Tenerife Tez. Yeah, forgot about Tenerife. saw Tenerife Tez over there. Only saw him briefly. He turned up with Johnny Vlogger to me. Uh, be live outside the fish bar. First time I'd ever met Tez, believe it or not. Everybody thought I'd met him before, but first time I'd met him, we had a bit of a chat. Uh, what sort of numbers did you get when you first started? Oh, be honest with you, Scott, when I first started, uh, my first big video, believe it or not, I did a couple of Bournemouth ones, uh, and then we had Hurricane Storm Eleanor, I think it was called, or there was a storm, one of these British storms that we seem to get every three weeks, and I went out at eight o'clock in the morning and filmed a storm by the beach, and by two o'clock that afternoon, it hit a thousand views, and I thought, oh my God, I'm a YouTube superstar. It hit a thousand views. All my mates in work were going nuts. Uh, so that was my first one. I was getting like a thousand views. That was at the end of January, February 2022. Uh, then I went to Tenerife for St. Patrick's. And I was getting like a couple of thousand per video. And then it just went from there, really. Uh, obviously, the Tenerife stuff does a lot better. Um, Bournemouth and Bits and Bobs don't do anywhere near as well in all fairness but they do keep it ticking over and a lot, I've got a lot of people in the UK who don't watch the Tenerife stuff and vice versa I've got a lot of people here who do watch the Tenerife stuff and not the Bournemouth stuff so Elves have a mix so uh, yeah just for the Tenerife stuff was high thousands of views UK stuff anything between 100 views and five or 600 views mate so uh you just, you just do it. Point and shoot, Rick says. Uh, great number. Yeah, thank you, David. Eugene, I saw your Michael's channel last night, Cole. Yeah, nice one, Eugene. Yeah, it's good. good hour last night. I had a chat with Michael. If you've not seen it, go and watch it on Edinburgh. I keep calling him Edinburgh by his old name. Edinburgh and beyond. Uh, that was last night. Damien Hooper, it was my face, Cole. That got you all them views. Damien, it's your face. That might get me banned. <laughs> uh, do you get between three and five pound per 1000 views or is that a rude question no it's not a rude question nigel um 
I've always wondered what people got paid on YouTube before I started the channel. And my honest answer is, I haven't got a clue. It varies. Uh, Tim's probably a better one to explain it than me, but it does seem to vary what you get per 1,000 views. It can range from, as I see it, I might be wrong, it can range from anything from like a pound to seven or eight pound. Um, it just varies on, I think, how many thousands you get and all sorts of other factors. But it, I think it's usually around about the three to, three to five pound mark as an average, as far as I know. The issue is I don't do it for the money, so I don't take that much notice of it, if that makes sense. Um, what I get in the pot at the end of the month, just a whack on a flight or something else. So I, I, I don't really look at it. I don't go into it that much, mate, to be honest with you, Nigel. Uh, hang on, I've lost me. Apologies if I miss anyone. Looks like I'm here alive. Just about, Tim. Just about. <laughs> Raymondo Patricia, it's not all about numbers. It's about quality and nice subscribers and people who appreciate the content. Absolutely bang on, Raymondo. Yeah, that's what I just said. I don't do it for the money. Numbers are nice because it's, it's a measure of how you're doing in terms of reality check. You know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you're out making a video all day and you only get two people watching it, you know, let you know that your video is not really watchable or you've got the wrong audience or whatever. So it's nice that you've got numbers like that because it gives you a check of how you're doing and how people are appreciating you. But above all that, above all that, I was speaking to Michael about this very topic last night. For me, you know, it is about getting out there. Like last week in Tenerife, I was bit naffed off that I couldn't meet everybody but SAF had to be priority because we were doing stuff um, but the people I did meet were absolutely fantastic you know you get such a positive positive reaction and it's really nice and uh, you know you're sat in a bar and somebody comes up and tells you how good your videos are that that is worth more than any amount of cash in the bank unless you're getting paid a million pound a month like Tim Dowd on it you know what I mean only joking Tim <laughs> Uh, University of La Laguna. Uh, bad cold, yeah. And David, bad cold. Get some whiskey down, yeah. Uh, did Cole just call me a spanner? Postman Pat who thinks the post box is facing the driver. The driver then thinks it's a drive up post box. Right. I think Eric's gone. I'll tell you what Damien's going on about everybody. Where I used to live a year or two ago, at the end of the road, there was a post box. A standard... Uh, I think it must be a 20, 30 year old post box. It had ER for Elizabeth Rain, so it gives you an idea of how old it was. And I used to have a Mercedes Sprinter van, which is quite a tall van. I think Ford Transit. And what I used to do was drive down the end of the road. Bear in mind, I lived in this road for over 10 years, right? I used to drive down the road. I used to U turn because it's at a junction and pull up right by the post box, buzz me window down, electric window, and I used to go like that with my letters because it was the right height to put me letters into the post box, right? And I did that for over 10 years, probably once, twice a week, most weeks, you know, posting things off and what have you. Um, I did it for years and I moved away from there uh, just over a year or so ago, right? Now then, when I went to pick Eric up, when we flew out to Tenerife the other week, I had a letter to post and we used the same post box I had to get out of the car because what they've done is they've turned the post box around. The slot and the little thing that the postman opens to get all the mail out has now been turned around and it's facing the opposite way. So you have to get out of your car and walk onto the path yeah, to actually get around it. And you can see where it's been moved because there's a little patch of tarmac. But everyone says I'm going mad. Now I've asked my ex-neighbour, uh, Sam, I saw him the other day and I said, has that post box been twisted round? And he said, yes, they did it last summer. So there you go. I'm not talking rubbish. <laughs> uh, Stuart Dolly. <laughs> so I'm not dreaming. They have turned the post box round. Anyway, I ticked that off my list because I was going to mention that. Uh, everyone's talking amongst themselves. You're not listening to me. You want about post boxes? 
Uh, Stuart, the numbers on your Veronica's videos are mega in comparison to your general Tenerife videos. Absolutely, Stuart, and I can't explain that. Um, I think what it is, it's the Scotsman in Tenerife clickbaity uh, shock danger effect. Uh, Veronica's has got an inherent reputation for being dodgy. It's not as bad as it's made out to be, uh, as you can see from those videos. Um, and I think people watch them because they just want to see me getting done over, uh, which, touch wood, hasn't happened yet. Um, they just want to see people getting pickpocketed or people lying in the street drunk. And I've done about 10 videos down there now, and none of that has ever happened. But people still want that sensationalism, unfortunately. That's what makes a good YouTube video, isn't it? People want to see something, you know, mental happen. Um, or people just want to see Veronica's, you know, they're, they're attracted by the bright lights on the, on the thumbnail, whatever, whatever the reason is that the Veronica's ones do very well. Um, and it's the, the, their videos that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I've got to know the guys down there now in the bars and they're happy for me to go in and film. I took Safi down there last week, uh, which was gone midnight. I thought I was going to get a bit of stick for that off people taking a 15-year-old down there at 12.30 in the morning uh, to do a nighttime video, but the, the reaction I got was actually quite positive. Uh, <laughs> um, and we, we walked, Saf and I walked from one end of Veronica's to the other. Uh, we, we engaged with some of the staff and some of the customers, didn't have an absolute issue. And, uh, you know, that video's got a couple of thousand and I've got another one coming up. Uh, I've got another one to go on which probably will do a little bit better due to its content. Um, so yeah, Veronica's ones do really well. And I'll keep on filming them because I enjoy going down there filming. It's a good thing to film. <coughs> Everyone's talking about England. Tim gets €250 Euro a month. Is that for YouTube, Tim? I imagine. Wayne's Lifestyle. Good evening, Wayne. Hi, Cole. Well done. Been here from the start. Nice one, Wayne. Thank you so much. Good to see you in the chat, mate. Wagwan Tours, hey Wagwan, how are you doing Kirk? Thanks for your support mate, I've seen you uh, sharing my uh, little post in the week, appreciate it and your support with TikTok as well, much appreciated. Uh, let me know how I can return a favour mate, not a problem. Uh, if I've missed any ones... Uh, since YouTube vlog has begun the channels, a lot of wonderful friends you have formed. Yeah, absolutely, definitely am, 100%. Ali Bennett, they did that to a post box I used to use the same way, call annoying. I have to get out of my van now. Thank you, Ali. I'm going to screenshot that, right, and I'm going to show that to Eric. <laughs> because he's told the whole pub that I'm in dreamland, right, and... Uh, Everyone said, a couple of people have said, no, he's right. They have turned it round. They've, they've done it to a few. The few that were very close to the road, seemingly. Peter Blake's in. Good evening, Peter. It's not the post box. It's the earth that has swivelled. <laughs> Could be, you never know. Some people say they wanted to change their holiday to Benidorm as Tenerife sounded dangerous. We was attacked by PR and bouncers in Benidorm three weeks ago, all because we didn't want their drugs. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, right? It can happen anywhere. You know, when there's a nighttime, a vibrant nighttime economy, and especially if people are on holiday and the guards dropped a bit and they're a bit more drunk than usual and they're carrying their phones and the money, you know, it, it's gonna be, it's it's just gonna, it, there's always good, it's always gonna happen. Um, as most of you know, I live in Bournemouth, which markets itself as Britain's premier holiday resort, and it is really nice here. In the summer here, it's like being in Costa Rodecki. It's absolutely glorious. But I think, I'm not sure if Eric will agree with me, but I'll be honest with you, I feel safer walking down Veronica's on a Saturday night at one in the morning than I do walking down Bournemouth Beach or Bournemouth High Street at one in the morning because it's much more dodgy here than it is in Veronica's. You've got a totally different atmosphere, you know. And Benidorm, Malia, Mag I've done Magaluf, Magaluf. You know, you, you're going to get it everywhere. Where there's drunk people, there's money to be made, isn't there? You know. Uh, Denise, yes, I always promote everyone, which is smashing. And does and works tirelessly behind the scenes. 
tirelessly. A lot of people's success is down to the work Anne does, I tell you that now. Susan's in, Susan McLaughlin, evening Colin Saf, hope you're well, thank you Susan, yes Saf's having a nap, she's absolutely shattered, uh, she had a long day today, um, she got some of her mock exam results today, all nice passes, uh, English literature, uh, she got an absolutely stunning result, given that she's on a short timetable, she should be absolutely proud of herself, uh, so all going well for sixth form, but yeah she's really well, thank you Susan. Tim Dowd, I just looked, €5.55 Euros for videos, £0.08 cents for for shorts and six euros 13 for lives per 1000 is that a standard rate then tim i thought it varied it shows what i know uh scott what's next then Cole? in terms of the channel scott do you mean or for me uh next week or two that was on my list scott actually i can tick that off everyone's everyone's ticking my list off me tonight in terms of me uh for this channel uh coming up next i've got I've got about eight, seven or eight more Tenerife videos to put up, which will be put up over the next week or so. Uh, this weekend, I've actually got seven gigs this weekend in the space of five days. Uh, I've, I'm actually DJing on a farm Friday and Saturday daytime. So uh, I'll be vlogging that. Uh, then we've got Easter holidays. Saf's off for two weeks. I'm going to take a couple of days off. We're going to do some days out around here, weather permitting, hopefully. So I'll be, we'll be doing some videos uh, round and about. Uh, and then May, I'm quite busy in May work-wise. Saf's got a GCSEs, so it will be a little bit quieter on the vlog front. I've got a massive gig booked at the end of May. Uh, I'm on. I'm doing a big festival at the end of May. I, I think I mentioned it last week in one of the lives. Uh, there's going to be 30,000 people going. I'm DJing there. Um, I don't know all you lot are on your current music but on the same bill uh let me show you images uh it's called born of sevens i'm just trying to get the, the thing up here uh and on the same bill there is, for those of you who are into current music, there is Wilkinson, Rudimental, Joel Corey. Uh, so I'm on there as well, which is nice. That's at the end of May. I've got two bookings, two slots, one on the Saturday, one on the Sunday. Uh, it's a massive, massive sporting festival. It's the biggest of its kind in the world, sport and music combined. Uh, I'm going to do some stuff for Webby while I'm there as well. Rugby teams from all over the world, netball, hockey, uh, all sorts going on. Fancy dress, they have parachute stunt teams coming in. Um, if it's the same weekend, they'll film the, the Champions League final on a big 50-foot screen. Uh, so I'll, I'll be vlogging that. I've got permission from the uh, event organisers to vlog that. And I'll be supported by their social media team as well. So that's a massive, massive thing. Um, that'll be good. I've got two DJ slots, as I say, Saturday and Sunday evening. Saturday, which is the big party night, and Sunday, which is the closing party. And it's actually in their VIP enclosure. Uh, bit of karaoke, bit of DJing. So that'll be good. Looking forward to that. Um, and then after that, summer, summer's here. Uh, me and Saf have got a load of stuff lined up for the summer. So, yeah, exciting times. Get back on me chat. Uh, 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 uh. Will I see you in Tenerife uh, in May, Col? Uh, not too sure, Tony. I've got to be honest, I don't think so, because that is GCSE time, May. Uh, and I've got a lot of prep to do for, for gigs in May. Um, so, I, unfortunately, not Tony. Um, but I will be out and about during the summer. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, mate. Eugene McGeever, happy Easter for this Sunday, Col. Thank you, Eugene. Same to you. Happy Easter to everybody. Uh, dad buying new Legos for Saf <laughs> She's got tons of bloody Lego Thank you man, well done to Saf Yeah, so proud of her Because she's, she's been on their half, half timetable since January And, you know, she's di dipped a little bit But she's pulled her socks up And, uh, yeah, results are absolutely fine So, yeah, chuffed She'll be so proud of Saf Smart, articulate and beautiful Like a dad, David No, I am proud of her, seriously 
Uh, Keith, the nights I walked down after being out with you and the other miscreants at four in the morning, I didn't feel unsafe. It was lively, but it didn't feel unsafe. Yeah, it is lively. And, you know, it is lively, but it, it's not unsafe. It's only unsafe if you make yourself vulnerable. You know what I mean? Uh, ah, you'll have to get on as a mod to keep you on track. I want to get down your way this year if you're about St. Michael's Mount is on my list. Uh, it's lovely. Yes, yeah, Scott, St. Michael's Mount is down in Cornwall. I'm sort of along the coast towards Brighton, in between Bournemouth. Yeah, you're more than welcome, Scott. Get yourself down, mate. Meet up, mate. Not a problem. Uh, thank you, Ali. I have to start calling the DJ Bobo. <laughs> I've been called worse than that. Uh, yeah, thank you. It, it is great news. Uh, can I just say as well, uh, Keith led me astray in uh, in Tenerife on this occasion. Uh, it's normally Eric who led me leads me astray, as in December. But on this occasion, it was uh, Keith who Keith couldn't pass a pub. All things Tenerife, he led me astray, and it was he who kept me out till uh, St Patrick's Day after St Patrick's Day. <laughs> Eugene, Cole plays coming to loot. Oh, great! Are you going, Eugene? Love to see them. Lynn, that's amazing. Love Joel Curry, Joel Curry and Rudimental. Amazing gig. Oh, I tell you, Lynn, I can't wait. Honestly, uh, the, the mad thing was, I've done this festival before. I've done about three, four of them years ago. My last last one I did there was twenty seventeen. Um, I was in a massive big marquee. You know, had about five thousand people, and uh, they they rebranded it in twenty seventeen. Spent a lot of money rebranding it and changing things around. Um, they stopped doing what I was doing. They stopped doing a few other things. Then COVID come along. They booked me for 2020, but COVID come along. So they cancelled. 2021, they couldn't do it. 2022, they relaunched it. But obviously, I think the budget was a little bit lower because they'd missed out on a couple of years. But they've built it back up now. And when I landed in Tenerife uh, on the 11th the other week, um, they called me up then on the first day of the holiday and said, uh, would you mind coming back and doing a, doing a couple of sets? So, yeah, just bit their hands off. Can't wait. Uh, I, thank you, Trisha. I will pass all these uh, messages on to Safi. Uh, yeah, she, she, she... The problem is with Safi, you know, she, she, she puts herself under a bit of pressure. I said to her, all you need is to pass these GCSEs. You don't need... You know, you've done you've done your work, just get them done and she's yeah, she's fine. Uh Tim Dowd, I'll send you the Roven report or login for Webby. Yeah, go for, go for it there, Tim. Yeah, I'll do that. Not a problem. Because there's gonna be a lot they they have uh, a lot of the famous rugby players there. Uh, I was telling all things Tenerife Keith, uh we had Lewis Moody did a DJ set a couple of years ago with England rugby player. Uh Johnny Wilkinson's been there. Um What's his name? Haskell. He was the one who's married to the royal family. He he did some of that. So yeah, try and get, I'll try and get Webby some sound bites. Damien, Collins, come. I have to come just for a steak pasty. <laughs> Go down Cornwall for them, mate. Uh, Donna's in. Evening, Donna. Hope you and Saf well. Yeah, we're fine. Thank you, Donna. All good. All good in the hood. Back in the UK. Planning our next little trip. Uh, reopening airport in Kent, not ideal for you then, it could be some cheap flights. No, Kent, Kent is miles away. If if you imagine, Scott, where Southampton is on the south coast, so right down the centre of Britain, halfway along the south coast, you've got Southampton. I'm about half an hour to the left of that, about 20 miles. So nearest airport I've got is Bournemouth. Jet 2 have announced they're doing flights to Tenerife and Bournemouth Airport from next year, so... We've got three airlines going out of Bournemouth to Tenerife now weekly. We've got Ryanair, which is one I use most because they do twice a week. Uh, we've got Tui or Thompson Tui, whatever they're called. They do once a week, I think it is. And now we've, from next year, we'll have Jet2 doing two two flights a week as well. So uh, there we go. Uh, Denise, we've got it. Ed Sheeran's coming to Santa Cruz for one night. It was impossible to get tickets. We thought he may do a second night. I'm surprised he's not doing a second night because uh, I wanted tickets for that because it's it's around about Saf's birthday and I've, I've been keeping my eyes and ears open, but it doesn't like he's going to do a second night. They're going to fly him in and fly him straight back out, I reckon. 
which it'd be more viable if they did a second night, surely. Keith, how very dare you? <laughs> I'm blaming Eric. <laughs> Who's Eric going to blame? <laughs> oh, come on, Keith. <sighs> yeah, get well soon, Trisha. Get well soon, Alan and David. Get well soon, everybody. Changing temperature. There's a load of bugs on the island. Everyone's hugging each other, especially St. Patrick's. Everyone's hugging and shaking hands. It's a, it's a hotbed of germs, isn't it? And then you come back over to the UK or Ireland in your case and you've got a different climate, different temperature. You, you get in your house, your heating's not on, you're freezing cold. It, it's, it's always going to happen, isn't it? So uh, everyone get better. Uh, JBM ended up buying everything in the reduced section as the drinks were 80% off. Got six bags and two, two what? Buses. JJ's in. Evening, JJ. Evening, Colin. Everyone, great vlogs from you. Thank you, JJ. More to come. Appreciate that. Good to have you along, mate. 52 in. Thank you so much, people. Uh, I'm hoping for some in Donny doorstep flights. It makes the world a difference, mate. Honestly, Bournemouth Airport from here is about 10 minutes drive just outside of town, and it makes the world a difference. We've also got Southampton Airport as well. I think EasyJet or somebody, Wizz Air or somebody goes Southampton Tenerife. So there we go. Yeah, so I think that's it. Caught up, caught cool. You don't often notice the difference when you get more people in the chat. Comments, comments, comments. But listen, I want to say thanks, everyone. I forgot to tell you, I'm drinking Diet Coke tonight. No weird drink. I haven't had a weird drink for ages. Well, there we go. Tuesday chat, first one. Uh, as I said, this weekend, guys, uh, I'd normally try and get Sneak Alive in somewhere on a weekend. But I'll be honest, I'm not going to get a chance... Friday, I'm gigging literally all day. I've got a Friday gig daytime, Friday gig nighttime, Saturday gig daytime, Saturday gig nighttime. Uh, I've got a big, be Thursday and Sunday gigs as a brand new venue. So I've got to show that a bit of love. And then tomorrow night's a late gig. So yes, it'll make me nice and rich ish, uh, but it's going to also take up a lot of time. Um, so what little time I do have out of those gigs? You know, I spend with number one in there. <coughs> and then I've got two weeks off Easter, uh, apart from my normal um, bookings. So I've got the days off. So uh, Easter week, I'll make up for it and uh, you'll see a few more. And I might even do a daytime live, like a little walk after when, when Tim does his walks in the morning. I wait for him to sit down with his coffee and go back home to uh, uh, help Christine out. And then I might do a little, if, if it's a nice sunny day, I'll do a little Bournemouth daytime walk. How's that live? That'd be nice. And uh, yeah, do it that way. So, we've been on over an hour, I think. I'll just go through the comments one more time. Uh, there was a lot about... Yeah, uh, JJ, how was your Sunday? Mark LF season, good evening. <laughs> hey, comment, hope you're good. I'm the new mayor. Does Webby know about that, Mark? <laughs> Up the reds. Uh, JJ, please don't forget to sh click the little button. Oh, thank you, JJ. Absolutely. It makes a, I didn't, when I first started watching YouTube, I thought people were talking rubbish about thumbs up and all that, but it does make a difference. So thank you. Damon, I was on the plane home, sat next to a golfer. Oh, hang on. Lo loads flying in now. On his last day, he went to a place around the corner from the Dubliner. He got 17 pints for 24 euro. Blimey. That must have been the uh, Aberdeen Steakhouse or something, uh, um, Damien. Where's the Tato sampling? <laughs> right. <coughs> I'll be doing that next week. Damien Hooper kindly brought me over two massive big bags of... Uh, Southern Island Tato's. Well, are they, Damien? King Tato's in the red and blue, aren't they? And the other ones. Um, I've got to get hold of uh, some Northern Ireland ones, which I can get here. Uh, I can get over here in the UK. So I'm going to grab some of them next week. And if you want me to, although I know it's it's, it's going to cause ructions, isn't it? It's probably going to be one of my most... Do, do you want me to do it live or should I do it edited? Oh, I don't know. Because I, I don't want to cause... I don't want to split me island subscribers. I don't want to, you know what I mean? But Eric, I think it was, or somebody had the great idea of doing a blind Tato testing. So the Northern Ireland ones, the King ones, and do, do like an English Walker's crisps and blindfolding. I've got to taste each one and tell you which one I think's nicest. 
and I know I'm just going to get hate from one from one one lot or another. So I don't know. I'll, I'll put a poll up, and if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But don't blame me if I prefer one over the other. Uh, I'll do it next week during Easter. <laughs> oh, you lot get me doing some shit, I tell you. Uh, you've got to get two, two buses. Oh, two buses to Tesco JVM. Nice, I'm with you now. Uh, Denise, here in last, this week, lots of uh, Praetors and Lagoos, lots of events for Easter 1 is at 5am. Good Friday, hands up. NTM should get up and log it. Yes, Steve should get up at 5am. Sorry, Denise, I've just noticed you you put PDLC, Puerto de la Cruz. When you mentioned your Elvis busker before, I thought you meant he was in Las Americas. I didn't see any buskers in uh, Puerto de la Cruz, I'm sorry. But I will have a look. Did I remember the apartment vlog? I did, Ian, but I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look that the con the actual content of filmed. It, I'm not sure if it's enough to put a vlog together. I'll have another look at it, mate. And if, if so, I'll, I'll, knock, I'll knock one up for you. Susan McLaughlin, happy Easter call the staff. Everyone have a good... Yes, thank you, Susan. Happy Easter to you as well. Uh, I'm not afraid of southern tatoes. Behave yourself. JJ, great seeing you spending time with Saf over there. It was absolutely fantastic. It was one of the best trips I've ever had, JJ. Thank you for that. Tim says we can go live together. Can do that, Tim, yeah. Uh, if it's the same technology Michael used last night. Yeah, I'm up for that. I told him he wants to sort out when I go over, whenever that is twice on a Sunday. <laughs> it would be good to see Easter celebrate. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Tina Rigby. Thank you, Tina. Bye, Cole. Bye, everyone. Have a happy Easter. As Cole says it in the fubs does help. Yeah, Tato era invented cheese and onion crisps. All oh, right, okay. I thought, I thought that was uh, Golden Wonder. Evening, Tracy. Peter Blake's flying out from here in two weeks with Tui. Yeah, I've, I've been with Tui a couple of times, Peter. Great service. JBM, come pick me up, Colin. What, from Bogner? You're having a laugh, aren't you? I do like you, Jay, but not Bogner. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fake potatoes. And we're live covered as well. <laughs> do it. Okay, the Irish people want me to do the potatoes live. As long as all the Irish people promise... Not to unsubscribe and fall out with me, regardless of the result. Right? I will do a blind taste test. I'll just I'm no I'm no food expert. My taste buds are way over the hill. Right, but I'll tell you which one I prefer. And if I come out and it's the English one, don't shout at me. And if it's not the one you side with, don't shout at me. And I don't want you all having a go with each other either. If you not promise me all that faithfully in the chat, I will do a Tato's test next week. But <laughs> You will not regret it. Why do I get a feeling I'm going to? Raymond Thede, big low. Raymond from Northern Ireland. Hi, Raymond. How are you doing? Yeah, get that balances the southern northern thing up with it. Good evening, Raymond. How are you doing? Welcome to the chat, mate. Scalp tickets are 250 quid a piece. <laughs> My first video was way before that. I deleted them all when I restarted the channel. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Sounds good. We will never fall out. You will just divide a nation. Uh, no, not over a bag of crisps. <laughs> right, on that note, I'll let everybody go, right? Because uh, I've got a couple of bits to do. I'm going to edit a vlog tonight to go on tomorrow. Uh, not sure which one yet. I've got a load of food. Well, a couple of... I've got an absolutely blinding restaurant video to go up. Honest to God, it's a restaurant that most people have heard of. I won't spoil it. But they actually let me go in the kitchen and the chef put on a bit of a display, you know, when you do the flambe and all that. And uh, all the staff were having a bit of a dance and it was fantastic. And the food was absolutely spot on. Probably one of the best meals I've had in Tenerife. And I was, I was, abs I was absolutely gobsmacked because I didn't think it was going to be. It shows you should never judge before you go in. So uh, I might put that on tomorrow. If not, that'll go up over the weekend. And I've got another video where Saf finds something totally out the blue in a, in a place you'd never dream of finding something and i've got another video going on where sadly i lose something and uh, i'm absolutely gutted so you'll have to watch the video so uh keep a lookout but anyway i'll let you all go listen up everyone thanks for joining in chat right uh appreciate it thanks everyone for the support tim honestly and thank you so much and uh, all the other people with the spanners you do so much and these figures are immense like Raymond says, it's not all about the figures. That's just a measure. 
and it shows me that it's appreciated and uh, let, let's let, let's crack on all right so take care of yourselves and trisha david get yourselves better jj i uh, hope your lads are all right uh, patrick morin i uh, hope your son's not too bad as well everybody else take care have a great easter weekend chill out relax eat your chocolate eggs and uh, keep watching i always say it me, me final words are and i mean this keep watching everyone's content right and then uh, we, we can carry on making it all right thanks everyone i'll see you in the next one